We're back with the Legion Road, and we are going to fight a giant monster. It's going to be good. It's going to be good stuff. Um, so let me bring up the initiative order here, and we will make sure to get everybody in this order. So I will drag you to the map. This is a pretty big map, so you'll have to zoom in probably a little bit um, to where we're going to be centering this because, you know, depending on what happens, who knows? Maybe you'll end up going into the dome itself. Um, you know, just wanted to make sure that was a possibility in case you guys wanted to. So, before this happens, can we establish, because I don't believe the game does, how ship weaponry is going to affect this guy? Because ship David, you're. You're really quiet. I don't know if you're doing that on purpose. I mean, I'm talking quietly, but okay. my mic is also right next to my face. So hey, Caleb, I... is yeah. the thing you put on roll 20 supposed to be just a giant black square? <laughs> um, no. Because that's what it looks like. So, <laughs> let me just... <laughs> yeah, there's probably a field of view thing, so let me, uh, let me just make everything... Um... <laughs> yeah, let me just turn off all the, the lighting and stuff. There you go. That 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 is that is marvelous, Caleb. So <laughs> everybody should be over here. Oh, our spaceship is bigger than it. Wow. Why are there? Um, well, yeah. Well, we hope. <laughs> so Wait, cute. How big are we? Are we one of those tiny dots? Wait, hold yeah. up, hold up, hold up, up. Is it next to our ship? I thought we were by the gate. It's on top of the ship. It's on top of our ship. <laughs> how close were did we land to the city? I thought we landed pretty far away. We were no. Away to we, we were right. literally no... like a second walk from the front gate. Yeah, like if if you guys were parked, like it would have taken much much longer for you guys to get. Yeah. Um. Also, why is there so much cliff face in this dome city? Um. So just imagine that that is the dome. Like, wait. So this is the whole city. No, this is the section of the dome that's inhabited by people. So. It goes off further than that, but there's like a you know palisade or not an actual palisade, but like a a wall that they built to keep from going further into the dome. So there's one gate, and the gate is basically like right here. Okay. Oh my gosh, were those tiny little things? Holy yep. crap! And this guy's huge. How did I do that? <laughs> so big. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, you just rolled the voice grace initiative. How did I do that? <laughs> um, so click on your token and then click initiative on your character uh, sheet. Yeah, when you roll initiative, it's based on your token, not your. Uh, um, <laughs> well, the voice grace got a six, guys. All right, hold on. So, um, so David, um, they do have rules for the, the starship weapons, okay, ground weapons versus ships, sort of thing. To take my infinite power. All right, I was going to be a thousand. Oh, I guess they have. Interesting. Because I'm pretty sure in the last version of the game they didn't, so I'm glad they did something about that. Well, so they have a little thing here about ground weapons versus ships. Oh, yeah, but that's that. not the same. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let me Google it. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's rules for like shooting people with starship weaponry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's assumed that they just giblet. So. <laughs> that was what Adam always did. He just assumed that they died horribly. Because I mean, you're either being shot with a laser that can cut through twenty worth of armor in a spaceship. Or you're being shot with a sand blaster that is meant to just destroy fighter ships. Either way, they're both designed to go through metal, and you are not metal. <laughs> so I think you should just assume you die. But that doesn't help when we're fighting a monster. No, it really doesn't. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, are you finding anything online? Oh, my sauce? That this is something about ship weapons versus vehicles, which I feel like the safest for this guy. Um, uh, but it's all like a fan thing. Sure. Because um, I know like, you know, most of the weapons do like a d4 damage, but this is like ship damage, not exactly, yeah. person damage. Um, 
Is the uh, the circle next to Connor and I, is that the bike or is that the gate? That's the grab cycle, yeah. Okay. Is it, is it still rideable? <laughs> you could look at it and attempt. No, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay. Wait, why, why are Ode and uh, Dylan all the way over by our ship then? Because we ran to the ship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, actually, they actually have the ability run. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and uh, click Are on your... Are they fully healed? Did you heal them? Oh, yeah. Not totally. Dylan's mostly but... healed. Mostly healed. And then David didn't take any damage. Oh, okay. okay. So... Ah, most, mostly healed. So it's... click on your token, Connor. Only partly um, dead. And then go on your character sheet and click the initiate button. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to say that one more time. <laughs> so um, go, in, go in on your character sheet. Okay, got that. Um, you see the little initiative button? Oh, yeah. Um, well, wait. I was okay. Well, whatever. I'll just put you in manually this time. But if you if you're clicking on oh, your no, token when you do it, then it will automatically add it to the turner. Yeah. Turner. Yeah. Hold up. It it didn't. It that's not my initiative roll. Hold up. I don't think. Oh uh, yeah, it is. Nope. Because of that. Nope. <laughs> no, it was it was a correct roll, and so you will be added to the initiative <laughs> order at initiative one. Oh darn! Oh. It told me, told me that. Oh. Oh okay. I I I never mind. Okay, I wasn't trying to cheat you guys. No, so, um, the consensus seems to be that if a person gets shot, they die horribly. And that this guy said that um, the uh, gunnery weapons do a quarter damage to ships. So he said on the on the flip side, presumably a ship weapon would do four times damage to something else, right? Four times the damage? So something, four. yeah, something that could actually survive a gun weapon would take four times damage to like a vehicle. So you um, whereas. Oh, okay. uh, sh like a vehicle shooting a ship would do a quarter damage. That's where he got that math. It doesn't say that. The quarter damage is in the book, I think. So he he just extracted mm -hmm. that to say four times. So basically, would it be roll four times the dice or times four whatever you rolled on the uh, damage? This guy says 44. Okay, but yeah, let's just do that then. Does. Yeah, that, that. Okay. Let's just assume that works for me. The big... How much armor does this thing have, would you say? Zanless murder beast. <laughs> well, it doesn't have any dex bonus, so that's good. Oh my gosh, Evelyn, go last. Going after the giant murder beast. Yeah, the precog is going last. <laughs> Wait, you don't have a thing for that? Hey. No, I don't think she does. Wow. I mean... What do you have for precog abilities, Connor? I could... I could do alternate outcome, and I think I could re-roll my initiative. Yeah, yeah. That but I don't want hard. to. I mean, what would be the point of that? I mean, that's true. You're not going to get there ever. Cause there's right. So much distance. Can I give Connor telepathic armor? I don't need it. No, I'm pretty oh. sure. It's yeah, everybody else has iron hide. <laughs> so. Oh, Connor, you have iron hide? Yep. Yeah, I have iron Only hide Till level. doesn't have some sort of iron hide thing at this point. <laughs> have you seen Evelyn? Uh, sorry, have you seen Violet Evergarden? That's who I want to be. I, I have not. Okay. Violet. What's your AC, Connor? It's on Netflix. Uh, more than it needs to be. <laughs> it's like 17, right? She has that weirdly analytical David look that I was expecting. Mm -hmm. so, that. Oh, she's covered in blood. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> seems appropriate. Oh, she's crying. Yeah, who this, this is a new character. Character. <laughs> Yeah. If you would see how she cried, you would think you would be like, "Oh yeah, that is Evelyn." <laughs> oh, she did somebody cries in confusion. Okay. Um. She okay. A metal arm. Why don't you have a metal arm? <laughs> we, can, we can get there. Maybe, maybe maybe this is when she gets it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> um. Okay. So Ode, you are going first here. So what do you want to do? You have just oh, like got on the ship. I want to shoot it with the microfocal laser. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, make a luck save. What? <laughs> to see what side of the ship the mi mi I, <laughs> microfocal laser on is on and whether I you mean, can aim it properly. Because we have a map. <laughs> it's on the right side, but it doesn't matter because I got it. So. Uh, well, that's the thing, right? Like, it's it's a matter of how, how directional it is, right? Can you literally... Okay. Is the icon like this? Oh, you mean the gun on the ship? Yeah, right. Oh, I thought you meant the gun room, which is like right here. No. But okay, gotcha. Right here, probably. But uh, yes, that is a good point. 
but that's what the luck save is for. So we've never established this. So it is it is pretty pretty directional. So you can kind of like pop it out, aim it a bit, All right. so you can get a clear shot on it from from that angle. Caleb, how, are you ready for your monster to die in one shot? It's not <laughs> gonna die in one shot. <laughs> it's not. Caleb, would you like to bet? Um, no, so, thing. I you don't want to bet. If all of these scrubs weren't standing out here gonna get killed by the sand blaster but you, you are, are so far away though i have to use the crappy microfocal laser so we're, we're like we're like a mile away look at how far away uh, we are it's fine it probably has a ton of armor anyways which means the sand blaster won't hurt connor and i have a ton of armor it's fine but we got this <laughs> we just finished establishing that it would instantly kill you <laughs> <laughs> um okay so now i get to figure out how this is gonna work so i roll Attack bonus is five, and my skill is two, and then. So we see O just like running into this, into this, uh, this, uh, the gunnery section, um, and like, and before, right, like the last time we saw Odin in the gunnery section, he was just kind of like messing with it, right, like he was just like boop, boop, like clicking buttons. But now we see O like, um, we'll we'll see, I guess, how how successful this this is. But I assume O is like much more serious now, right? Like he's like, you know. Sitting down, like sliding into the chair, like just like flipping switches and like doing it really quickly, as quickly as he can, to like direct it. So my question, and I think this is just something you're gonna have to rule on. The mm -hmm. microfocal laser is an energy weapon, but it's a ship weapon. Does it get the plus one that energy weapons get? Um, I mean, the ship weapon is probably mostly like ship targeting and stuff, so like it probably doesn't benefit in the same way that a rifle would from being an energy weapon, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll, yeah. we'll leave it alone. I didn't. I didn't think so. Um. That makes sense to me. So if anybody else ever uses this microfocal laser, assume that you probably don't have a plus eight that I'm rolling at. <laughs> um, I don't think I get any modifiers unless somebody wants to help me. Do I get a modifier for being like half the size of our ship and literally right there? Like, like how can I possibly mm -hmm. miss this thing? Uh, no, I mean, that's what the AC is for. Awesome. Okay. Well, I get Well, you roll. definitely hit it. Um, and it has AP 20, so if it has any armor, it doesn't have armor. And I'm going to re-roll the dice for damage, because it just rolled an AP 4, so, or, yeah. Wait, so how does armor work in this? Oh, no, but that's just for ship armor. It's, it works differently. This, yeah. It cuts through 20 ship armor, so if this has armor of any kind... Well, that's the thing, I don't, d d people can't have I mean, armor I in the same way, this right? Vehicle, right? But this isn't a person, like that thing. Right, but like, well, I'm trying to think, like, does, wait, so, uh, AP is a thing with, like, personal weapons, so what does that do? But, is not not how armor works? No, I mean, AP isn't a thing for guns, like, rifles. It's, it's... only a thing for, like, ship weapons. Okay, it is? Okay. Yeah, that's what I, mean, I'm I can check, but it wouldn't make any sense for it to be... Yeah, because it doesn't work the same way. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Okay. Vehicles can have armor, and I assume this guy is a vehicle, because... Uh, that's fair. Um, I mean, look at him. He looks like an armored, like, ball of spikes. <laughs> so. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I mean, let me see if I can find what a grab tank has for armor. I assume it works differently because this is ship armor. It actually doesn't matter because this has 20 AP. Yeah, no matter what, it's not going to have more than that. So, it just doesn't You're good. Um, so I'll roll the 44 for damage. It gets it takes 10 damage. Okay, sounds good. I wonder how much AP does much, yeah, vehicles Yeah, so I was just going to ask how much health does it have. Does vehicles have at all? 300. No, it's not. I mean, my bike has 10. Connor, can you turn your light on next to you? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> okay. so out of these options, what would you consider this monster? A motorcycle? A motorcycle? No. It's not ground car. Nice. It's a motorcycle, it's already dead. A ground <laughs> car. <laughs> A grab car, an ATV explorer, um, a helicopter, an atmosphere flyer, a grab flyer, or a grab tank. Grab tank. Well, that was wrong. Uh, so this has relevant levels of armor and 50 health. So it now has 40 health. I just have to do that four more times, guys. Nice. We're gonna die. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna die. I'm, in, I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, he's going to attack the ship. That's the yeah. biggest. Threat What's the most... armor on it? On the grab tanks? It's a special. Let me read it. Um, it's... Is Till just like chilling on the ship somewhere? Not. So I'll, like... I'll get to Till. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to Till. 
they have he's, right. he's obviously not oblivious to what's happening. No, for sure. <laughs> okay, so this is super not useful. All it says is that they can't be hurt by small weapons and that they have to be shot by heavy weapons. Four demolition charges, obviously this counts, but it doesn't say what much armor it does have, which is really dumb. But okay. I, I have what armor it has, and then we'll, we can say that as well. The, the highest armor in vehicles is eight, so I assume it has at least eight. Okay, that sounds good to me. So if we're treating this as a tank, are Evelyn, uh, Fergus, and... Uh... Uh, so to, 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 and Dylan irre irrelevant in this battle. No, um, there's you can damage vehicles with heavy weapons. We don't have heavy weapons. We we have swords and yeah, I rifles. Really okay. Um, <laughs> I, assume, I don't know. Well, okay. So does this have the same? I mean, we probably don't know this, but if it has the same rule as the tank does, then yes. Because it can't be hurt by anything short of like heavy weapons. And yeah. So I'm curious. What does so I know armor in terms of like ship combat decreases the weapon damage. So what is the what is the damage translation from from like ground so, weapons to ships again? Well, so the thing is that vehicles are technically I think on the scale of ground in that like heavy weapons can be held, but I think they I think it has more armor or something like that. Um, so armor is subtracted from all weapon damage. Armor does not apply to damage done by heavy weaponry, such as uh, such guns are often designed to take out vehicles. Um, they're short of anything. In, oh, grab tanks are immune to anything short of TL4 heavy weapons, or less sophisticated tanks are immune to anything but TL3 heavy weapons. And anything hitting the vehicle is oh, actually hitting the vehicle is automatic if the vehicle is stationary and within 30 feet. Hitting a vehicle-sized target from beyond that range requires an attack. Okay against AC-10, so actually hitting vehicles is super easy. If the target is moving, subtract its speed from the roll if the attacker is in the... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about all that, honestly. So basically, like... we, we would probably auto-hit it. So the other thing is that um, uh, so technically your weapons, unless it is a grab tank and has that roll, um, then your weapons would do normal damage and it would just subtract its armor. If it's a heavy weapon, the armor doesn't do anything. Um, which means that the heavy weapon, the armor wouldn't affect the... Okay, so I, I know how it works in my mind right now, and I'm just going to rule out that, and you'll, you'll, you guys will figure it out as you, as you go. So I, I figured it out in my mind, what I want this to be. It's not exactly like that, but... Um, okay, so, yeah, we see O just, like, shear through this thing with a laser, um, and, like, you know, like, a piece of it kind of just, like, like falls off, and it just, like... It's just, like, like, roaring in pain, just scraping along the Void's Grace. Um, Dylan, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to get on the ship and get my sword. <laughs> uh, okay. I think you can... Let's see. Given where you are on the ship... Um... Yeah, I think you can do so. Um, but I don't know how... Let's see, you can move up to 10 meters... Uh, so you can spend your entire turn to get there, grab your sword, and then start making your way out, but you're not going to be able to get out of the the ship yet. Um, okay. Yeah, because there's, there's a, a bit of distance to run. So you're running as fast as you can. Um, you, you, you Like, we see you grab your sword from... So is this the lethal sword that you're grabbing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we see, like, the stun baton sword, yeah, like, to the, I, next yeah, to it, Yeah, I don't think right? the stun baton would do much to this yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so are you actually going to go try and stab this into the sword? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is <laughs> and then you're running out again. Okay, cool. So, Fergus, what are you doing? Uh, how much does David's bike weigh? Oh, um, hold on a second. Uh, I don't know. He probably has the rules for that somewhere. Um, it is one ton. Dang it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That might be the. That might be the. Oh, yeah, it's one ton. Never mind then. There's one ton of kilograms. <laughs> it's way more than two hundred. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's nine hundred and seven kilograms. So He's definitely more than you can lift with telekinesis. Not throw the bike at that. <laughs> you need to level up your telekinesis, and then you can do that. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'll, okay. I'll shoot him. I guess. Wait. 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 But does the bike's gun still work? do? Sorry. Do the bike's <gasps> gun still work? Um. <laughs> In this case, I would think Fergus make a luck check. 
Oh boy. Can I make it because it's my gun? No. <laughs> I think our saves are probably the same anyways. Oh no. Uh, yeah, the guns are unfortunately destroyed. Oh, the... oh man. I mean, Fergus. to be fair, Fergus has a negative one shoot anyway, so he wouldn't... <laughs> and the rail guns on the... That's true. That's, that's fine. <laughs> well, you only have to hit an AC-10 because it's stationary in the vehicle. But, I mean, no, mean I'm sure this thing has way more maneuverability than a, a grav tank. I, I'm just going to shoot it. Uh, wait, sir, are we not doing vehicles? No, no. Get the way the vehicles. No. Okay. I just need to find where I actually do that. Wait, to be no. fair, it would be pretty hard work to miss that guy. He's. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um. Uh, you just click on your gun. Oh. Uh, wait. you miss. Uh, also, you're using a sword. Oh, thrower, wait. Super out of range, I think. Wait. Oh, it's only 68 meters. Never mind. He probably wouldn't. Nope. He's uh, still out of range. I, he's I think range I did is 40. Uh, well, technically, it's on top of the ship, right? So is it actually that far away? No, it or is. It? Yeah. It's basically like one claw is on top of the ship. Wait. Technically, you can hit the edge of its token at 58 meters. <laughs> no, that's not. Yeah, it's not. I'm not close enough. You can move 10 meters, but that's it's still out of range. Shoot him. Well, no, it would be in range if you move 10 meters. No, if you move 10 meters, he would be 48 meters away. Is then his max range 60? No, his max range is 40 with the psychic spike thrower. Oh, really? Dude. Oh. Okay. Oh. To be fair, I did that wrong anyway, so it's worse than 15. So I don't oh, hit it nice. no matter. Can I use the rest of my turn to move? No, 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 no. Jared, why are you subtracting two from your skill for this roll? I didn't. Can you see? Yeah, it says plus minus two for skill. Oh. What? How? I don't know what I'm let me, doing. Let me look. Let me look at it. Wait, no. It did add. No, it didn't. Wait. 10, 11, it it plus negative 2. 17. Yeah, it subtracted 2 instead of adding 2. So wh whenever you put your skill on there, it's it's decreasing it from that instead of adding it. So, so let me look second. at shoot. Can uh, I just put shoot at plus 1 since the only time I'm ever going to use shoot is when I'm using my telekinesis? I mean, you can no, you can, but we can just change the skill. So give your weapon the telekinesis skill, which I thought I did when I put it on your sheet. Oh, okay. Or I, 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 know, I, no, I, I put it on your sheet. Oh, okay. I was messing with myself. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have access to a sheet. Okay, never mind. You might have done it um in person, but uh -oh. does a seventeen hit? <laughs> uh, nope. Yeah, Holy yeah. crap! I mean, Jared, I have nineteen. I'm a close. I don't think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. The next turn, I use the rest of my turn to move ten feet. <laughs> ten meters, but yeah. Ten so meters. You, yeah. you can't shoot it anyways because it's out of range. So like, yeah. Like there. Sure. Okay. It's the Xanless Murder Beast's turn. Oh no. <laughs> All right. So now I assume this does a quarter damage to the ship before treating it like a vehicle, right? Is that how it works? Uh, I. Th think so that, if we're based on the thing that said that we did four times damage then... yeah okay because if a vehicle i guess to starship that's what it does um yeah, according to that forum i'm gonna find that rule just to make okay. sure I, i'm fine with that rule that makes sense to me okay. um okay so it's gonna just rip this thing apart because obviously it's the thing attacking oh. it right now so it's just gonna I mean, rend this thing to attack it, but fergus doesn't know the range of his weapon yet <laughs> uh, also i should probably figure out how to shoot Oh, no. Is Till anywhere in here? Are we rolling for him at all, or is he just... Till was uh, mysteriously kidnapped in the middle of the night. <laughs> Wait, for real? You're joking, right? Who knows? Uh, what's the <laughs> AC on this thing? I, so, I mean, it's kind of like too many. It's the AC 10 stationary thing. I mean, well, I said if they're stationary, you auto hit them. I assume it auto hits. I mean, it's on it. It can't miss. Plus, this mm -hmm. ship has armor. I don't think it's even possible for this guy to hurt it. If we're, so maybe we should just do one or the other. Because, like, okay, so we're in a free merchant. It has, Oh, no, it only has two armor. So never mind, we should do both. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm. So, so it's quarter damage and then... And then two armor, yeah. And two armor? Okay, that works. I assume it would be 
So yes, all those hit, obviously. Wait, well, he, why is he doing so many attacks? Because he has four attacks. He's a murder. He has four. Don't get four, four attacks. Mm -hmm. That's I exactly what it attacks. says on here. I took this. I took this stat block straight from the book, my friend. Wait, oh, is really? this the giant yep. flying spider thing? Jared was wrong. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> is it better or worse than the, <laughs> than the spider? Uh, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> yeah, I can't like fly or anything like that. So. And it's not a pack animal, right? No. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see. So quarter. Get out of here. So quarter this. Um, I'm gonna find the step block. Where is it? So that's hmm. No, don't look up the step block, David. That's cheating. Yeah, I know. Don't do it. <laughs> Fine. Not allowed. I gave her. So the the, the issue with this though is it's. I mean, so the so none of the... none of those hit, none of those do anything because it's, it's quartered eight. and then two armor. So that would do two damage. Yeah. So none of them do anything. So the only way it would hurt is if it rolled a nine or a ten. Because if it rolled a nine, then it would get. I assume we're rounding up. Um, yeah. Then it would get one over, because the eight gets nullified. So yeah, it would get one over. I think. Right. Yeah, because it would be a three. Uh, uh, do its claws not count as a heavy weapon? Honestly, they, they do, would. That's the only reason they could do anything. Yeah. If it didn't count, it wouldn't even. I mean, if you're just counting them as kid, like butter knives, I feel like that's a little. <laughs> no, trust me. In order to hit a ship at all, it has to be insane. Um, and so if it if they got a ten, it would do two damage. That's how it works. So yeah, that's. But to be fair, our ship only has like ten, armor, so two damage is a lot. Yeah. Um, because yeah, the ship numbers are really small. So even though it's not hitting very high, like if it hit two or three damage every time and it had four attacks, we would it would be destroyed in like a round. Right. So that sounds rough, but I feel like that's kind of fair. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's just like right. tearing into this thing, and like it's creating like superficial scrapes, but it's not actually like damaging any of the system. Right. But so what we see, right, is we see like at you know the the oh gosh, the twenty nine plus ten the voids grace like just like scraping ac across the ground, like digging up trenches because of the landing gear because it's like moving it, and then we we get a shot from the inside and we see till, um, uh, basically like blood like coming out of his head like in yeah. the in the bridge like he, he smashed his head up against something when this thing first came and he's just oh, like on the God. ground and we just see like like a bunch of blinking red lights yeah. like on the oh. in the consoles and it's just like you know like a bunch of like you know um uh warning 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 right somebody <laughs> on the ship <laughs> okay, well, external <laughs> damage <laughs> oh, right God. we'll have okay Enough laughing. Till is literally dying. We'll get Fergus in there right away. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I'm I mean, closer. You don't know. No, I mean, you know. Here's the yeah. question. Are you going to kill Josh's character when he's not here from a random side world? No, you're not. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but your character's... So, so if your characters learn about Till... Maybe our characters don't even know Till is here. Yeah. So. so it's all irrelevant, and I shoot it with... I'm just creating an artificial tension for the audience. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Will the main character die in episode 2 of 20? <laughs> yeah, hey, it's episode nine. It's about time. Or episode eight. Or yeah, no, it's episode nine. It's about time for die. a character to die. Um. <laughs> well, Fergus uh, runs I ten years back. <laughs> gonna, gonna go I think. Uh, okay, so that's what it does. It just kind of like scrapes the ship. Um, so yeah, I think I got a comms like, "Are you guys inside the ship yet? I can't fire the sandblast unless you get in the ship." And then uh. it's Evelyn's turn. <laughs> Yay! Fergus is slow. <laughs> Is that what you no roll to try to. Well, it's not his turn. Uh, so you can't say anything. Uh, sorry, not no. I want to do a notice roll to try to see if I can notice like a weak point in his his arm is is not his arm like his uh, armor. Not well. I want to. I wanted to say Skin. armor, but then I was like, he's not wearing armor. Yeah, his hide. I mean, look at him. He is armor. <laughs> I mean, he just looks like a creature. Too. Well, yeah, he kind of does look like armor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so I'm just gonna do roll a notice check to see if I can get, like a. Yeah, you can get like a bonus basically. Okay. Do you have a laser pistol? Yeah, he has a laser pistol. Uh, okay, I got an eight. You need a better gun. It won't hurt it. Uh, should I? You can get a plus one. Outcome? 
Wait, get a plus one? Mm -hmm. To uh, both Wait, attack and me? damage. For me, I, I want to do it for everyone. Like, and, like, tell them. Um, it would, it's going to take the rest of your turn if you want to, like, give that plus one to everybody. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you're just explaining, like, um, yeah. on comms, I mean, right? Like, yeah, that's what I'm good for anyway. Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> that's that, so. You say, like, <laughs> right underneath its chin. I see a, I see a weak point. Everyone aim there. I mean, at this point, we should just run into the gate because we're right next to the gate. That's true. That is a much better idea. Also, question for Caleb. Mm -hmm. What is the chance that a sandblaster would blow a hole in the dome? What's the dome made out of? Uh, you're going to have to make a notice <laughs> roll to find that out. Or like a oh, no, no roll or something like that. <laughs> oh, yes. This is great. This is great. No. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Man, <laughs> yeah, Ode would have to make like a, a specific role to try to figure, find that out. Not gonna, not gonna risk that. Man, I, I can see this conversation later. J Dylan going, man, uh, uh, Ode, I'm sorry I blew up your bike. Uh, Ode, sorry I blew up your home. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I no. uh, inadvertently left in the murder of your entire family. Oh, oh man, <laughs> that guy deserves it. So it's fine. Oh, excuse me. Wow. <laughs> Marital <laughs> problems already. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, so Evelyn, you want to move to t towards the gate? Um. Or are you no, moving towards well, it? Well. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't really moving anywhere. Okay, you just want to stay where you are. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, I. Is it would it be safer? I don't really. Uh, I mean, pro no, probably not. <laughs> the vision showed the monster going through the gate and killing everybody. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna be correct. Then. I mean, maybe I, I. I mean, there's not really any type of strategic like I get behind something. Or I mean, there is a grab cycle. <laughs> I'm not getting behind the almost exploded grab cycle. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying you could. Try. I mean, is this the gate, or is this like a little crevice thing here? Uh, no, we're, but we're literally right by the gate. Yeah, that's okay. the gate right there, basically. We could what go what is this? Help. If I, like, move right here, is that... Is no, like so this is so this is the wall. Okay. So all, all on oh, okay. this... Well, I'll just go up against the wall, I guess. Let's this is, like, the gate right here. here. There's a little divot. That's what I want to hide behind. Why there the is gate? no divot. Let's, let's okay, see. well... Sorry, I'm using a map that does not accurately portray... The actual okay. situation. Well, okay, um, it, it portrays the inside fine, but not the outside. Drawn by people on sand lists. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, use aerial drones. All right. It can't just be like, this is what our city looks like. Blah, blah. <laughs> I think they know what a straight vertical wall <laughs> it would be, David. I'm trying to get the benefit of out here, okay? So, are you moving anywhere, or staying where you are, Evelyn? I just stay where I am. Okay. I should try and fix my bike. Uh, Ode? Alright. I warm up the microfocal laser, and I shoot it in the face. Okay, do it. You mean so under now, the chin? I, I, I don't auto-hit this thing. You no, you do right not. on my gun. No. Nope. No? Alright. And it's not AC-10, even though. Nope. Alright. Fine. You hit, though. So go ahead and roll for that damage. Oh, also it took two more damage last time because I add, add my gunnery skill to my damage because I'm a baller. <laughs> okay. Also, I assume you are we gonna multiply that? I assume not because otherwise it would have taken like twenty. No, damage. no, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, it took ten again. Nice. So twelve? Uh, no, ten. Oh, I mean twelve if you count the two I didn't do last time. But isn't there another two this time? Oh, uh, you you I, added this time. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, so you're you're ripping into this thing with lasers. Um it's not having it. It's not yes. like a <laughs> uh, yeah. get rocked. <laughs> um Dylan? Do you wanna okay, run? Okay, can I can I roll notice to see if I like think about where Till is in this situation? Um 
Hmm, would notice be the right. Wait, so did any of you respond when I asked you if you were inside the ship yet? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Evelyn, did you? I respond mean, I'm assuming turn? that she was right behind him. So. Yeah, I think you know that that Dylan is. Um, Evelyn, did you respond to that comment by Ode? To what comment by Ode? Get rest. You're on the ship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not on the ship. No. Oh yeah, yeah, I would respond. So you just said, like, Same. I'm not on the ship? Yeah, I'm not on the ship. But you don't tell me that you're by the gate. Uh, I mean, I... You just give him an accurate layout of your coordinates? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like he <laughs> wouldn't really think too hard about... Do you just say, I'm not on the ship? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. I feel like... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, uh yeah, go ahead. Should I not be shooting it with telekinesis? <laughs> it's not your turn yet. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, talking's not a free action? You can talk as a free action, but a free action is on your turn. Wait, since when have we ever oh. had to be on a turn to talk in any game we've ever played? <laughs> I don't know, I just arbitrarily decided that this time. Yeah, I know you did, because we never did that. <laughs> Get out of here. It just Fer Fer Fergus shuts up. <laughs> it's a different game. I can decide that that's how it works in this game. You assume Fergus is on the ship. Fire, fire I, the I don't know, actually know if it has any rules on it, honestly. Um... I mean, we've talked out of turn many times, but I don't know if they're actually. Let's let's take a look. I feel like that would be really stupid. I hate it, but D and D has that rule, and it makes. <laughs> Bless you. Right. Let's see if it's in the list of combat actions. Then presumably it doesn't have a rule. It's not the right. The game, and it doesn't have that. Saying something is an on-turn action, which means you can do it any amount on your turn. That is the mm. official rules in the Stars of the Number rulebook. So stupid. <laughs> uh, so Dylan, you you can make a notice roll if you want to. Yeah, to to okay. notice that. Uh... With what attribute? Um, wisdom. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think you you like probably like hear the the alerts from the from the bridge. You just hear warning, warning. Okay. So she's gonna head in there. Okay. Yeah. So you see Till, um, just like head bleeding from his head, just like lying on the ground in in the bridge, surrounded by um red lights <laughs> on the council. Okay. Can I attempt to heal him? You can indeed. Uh, would you like okay. to use a Lazarus patch to just like stabilize him, basically? Yeah. Go ahead and make a heal roll. But now we're not going to have a reason for him not to be involved. <laughs> well, he stabilizes. He doesn't wake up, though. That's true. With what attribute? Um, Intelligence. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. Oh, yeah. Gosh. So I think that means that you, you fail this turn, but you have another chance. Uh, next time, uh, David, would you mind looking up the rules for Lazarus patches for me, real quick? Yeah, sure. um, I know you failed this time, and you'll you can try again next turn. But um, so you're you're just like trying to like bandage up its head, and it doesn't seem like he's doing very well. So. Um, Josh has brain damage. <laughs> sorry, Josh. Sorry about that, dude. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't show up for a session and don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> not I'm like I'm salty at things. all. No, definitely not. Yeah. Um, and it would be Jared's turn, but he's not here. I mean, he can he even hit the thing yet? No. I assume he goes into range and shoots it again, right? Like, I mean, the, he can use two actions, right, to move closer. Uh, yes, yeah, I think moving in again again is an action. So let me just okay, he's back. So. Your turn, Jared. Am I within range to shoot it? I don't believe so. Nope. You still need to be at least 14 more meters closer. How many moves can I move in a turn? You can move up to 20 meters if you just want to like spend your whole turn doing that. How many moves can I move and still shoot? Uh, well, you can't ever shoot because you don't have the range to shoot, so you'd have to move your, your, both of your movement. Oh. How close do I have to be to shoot it? You have to be within 40 meters. Oh. 
Okay, well... And right now you're within think... 54. So you have to uh, move at least 14, and that's two moves action, so... Okay, I'll just move uh, my max okay. closer to the ship. So you move... Here. So feel free to move your token there. Uh, okay, cool. So do you uh, respond to Ode's uh, question? Uh, almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Making my way with my little stubbly legs. I have, I, I have two. I have three strength. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so there's a couple things. First, the psychic skill, psychic sniper automatically stabilizes people, but um, Lazarus Patch is difficulty is six plus the time that they've been unconscious at ra- in rounds. Um, a fail Ooh, check. Yeah, so it's actually probably been a couple rounds. Or no, it's been at least one round, so it'll be a difficulty seven. Yeah, um, and, but the Lazarus patches are expensive even on a failure, so she has to have more than one Lazarus patch. Uh, do you have a Lazarus patch on you, Dylan? I do not. Wait, she was using Lazarus patch, right? She was. Okay. Um, because if not, it's an eight. If she has medical equipment. So I can, I, I'm, I'm fine with assuming that you had one on you just for like emergency. That seems like a thing you'd carry around with okay. you. Um, but now you're going to, you used it up. So you, now you're going to have to like go grab the other Lazarus patch from like Ugh. the storage locker. <laughs> this is a choice you have to make, right? Like you could go out there and try to stab the thing or you could yeah. try to heal. Does, heal. Does, does Fergus have to be a certain dis- one to throw them he has to like telekinetically? <laughs> With an eyesight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ship. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, okay, cool. So, um, the Zanless Murder Beast. I think it's realizing that it's not going to get this ship. So it starts to move away. What's his intelligence oh. score? Caleb, no! <laughs> oh. Caleb! Caleb, I only have 21 health, man. <laughs> and I think it, like, it just starts moving away, like, around the ship, basically. And oh. then it's standing in front of you, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, um, was but full, was it, it is its full ball? movement. <laughs> I should have ran so out. it's standing in front of you, and that's its full movement. So suddenly it's just like, <sighs> like, about to like just cr- try to crush you with its claws. Oh, Evelyn, does like... contact oh. cost a full turn? <laughs> um, it should say in the power. It's probably an instant action. Knowing, knowing this game, telepathy. What did you say? Telepathic contact. I think. Tele- oh, is that the base? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not using it now. It's not my turn. It's kind of uh, a main action. Mean action, yeah, it takes your your normal action. Insight. <laughs> He's like literally right in front of your face. I thought you were trying to take something else. Okay. Um, Technically, you're kind of facing the ship. Your your token is so you're just like this side of it. Wait, like right wait, I, I got this. There, did that help? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I punched it. Come in. Come in. Uh Evelyn Leidner, what would you like to do? Um yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean the answer is not shoot it with a laser pistol. <laughs> Taunt it. <laughs> Uh, what could I roll something with lead? What would you like to do? Uh, oh, give, wait, give directions to everybody. I don't know. Did your last, did your plus one apply have some him? camaraderie, by the way? Oh, should have, yeah. Then he should have taken that extra damage. You're right. <laughs> yes, nickel and dime till it's dead. Yippee! <laughs> yep. Um, you talk- pennies man pennies so you want to basically like inspire people yeah uh yeah you can attempt to do that what tell us how uh evelyn would do that i mean just with uh 
I mean, she knows exactly how people work. She knows exactly how these people work because she's spent a lot, a lot of time watching them, figuring out what makes them tick. And so she just tells them, it explains to them things of how they think. And it's like, you do this this way. You do this this way. And like, it explains to them, okay, watch for this. Watch like, you're, for you're, you're the best at this, do this thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. You can go ahead and make a lead roll, and then you give people like a plus one bonus to to like their next action. I'm assuming attribute would be intelligence then. Um, yes. Yep. So everybody can yes. get a plus one bonus to their whatever they do okay. next. Okay. Well, I got eleven. Can I can I boost that because I did more than that or what? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Just that day. If you got any, much more than that, you could probably get a plus two, but in this case... It's what do you mean much more than that? I got 11. I mean, yeah, but, you know, that, there's not much of a range of bonuses in this game. It's, like, plus one to plus three, and, like, plus three is, like, a ridiculous amount of pluses. So, most of the time, you're going to get a plus one or a plus two, so... Um, so, uh, that's all you're doing? Yeah. All right, Ode Anger... I mean, yeah, this, that's all I can do, correct? I just can't. You can move. Unless I want to move. Uh, I guess... Nah. You just stay right there? Yeah. Okay. Is that plus one ongoing, by the way? Nope, just plus one. Uh, I mean, to next. his bonus. No. No. So plus one to what everyone's next action. So his no roll before was just the one time. Okay. Um, but he just did it again, right? So the way, yeah, like I think each of these, yeah, it's like a a one, one thing. Um, yeah, it's not ongoing. Twenty four. Uh, yeah, that definitely ends. All right, and I will roll my forty four, and now this includes damage as well, right? His plus one again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fifteen. Whoa! Snap, dude. <laughs> That's what? not how a microfocal microfocal laser works, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, cool. Also, I'm really glad I haven't missed yet because he's dead, standing in between me and the dome. <laughs> and in between <laughs> laser definitely goes through whatever that's made out. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Uh, all right. So, um, also, I tell everybody to either stay on the ship or get really far away <laughs> because. This is getting ridiculous. Um, Fergus is literally going to die. <laughs> uh, Dylan? So Dylan runs off the ship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was actually talking to when I said that. Get back. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Right, you probably hear like Evelyn say like, and Fergus, please try not to get crushed by the giant monster that's right in front of you right now. <laughs> and so Dylan's just like, I have to go save Fergus. <laughs> okay, well, I think, uh, come on now, you can probably use your full action to, like, move in front of it, basically. Wait, so are we actually doing the rule where you can't talk unless it's a true? Yep. Okay. Oh. I guess that makes a lot more sense than the D&D campaigns you've done in the past. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> Well, I mean, it makes more sense than talking as a free action, and we can strategize for literally hours. I mean, <laughs> except that that's a narrative thing. You just, so you just do you just want to right. run out in front of the monster, basically? Yeah, because I'm assuming that I can't have Fergus throw me at it yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Fergus, is he trying to run for his life? Yeah. So you you run He's out in front, boy. and uh, yeah, Fergus, what do you do? <laughs> Throw me at it. <laughs> How far away is the entrance to the ship? <laughs> uh, the entrance to the ship um, is like right there. It's... Wait, is it? it is... <gasps> it's exactly 10 meters. That's... <laughs> okay, I run to the ship what? and yes, I'm running to the ship. Fergus, I, I need her. you. <laughs> no, I'm, do I'm doing both. I throw her and get onto the ship. Point of okay, cool. You said the back is it's back here. Is the entrance to the ship? There, there are multiple entrances. Uh, uh yeah, because actually. Ship. Yeah, so. what I guess we'll have to assume that it's there's there's one there. Honestly, like it really wouldn't be. I don't know where it would be. Oh, I guess maybe it's be it would be there. 
Yeah, because it's kind of like a down. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. We, we can say it's right there. Right here, so I assume there would be like a pilot hatch, right? Like this would be the cargo entrance. This would probably be like the human access. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so that's that's what it ran into. So yeah, you can get there and sort. Well, unless it has to be this part of the picture. Does that be the token of the picture? Uh, I don't. It's probably the token. Okay, so then you can get there in one turn, which is good because you need to use your okay. action to not get mauled horribly. So. so I use the 10 to get to the do like to the door, and then like I throw her as well. <laughs> you have to use your action to disengage. I'm not engaged anymore. I'm, I, I haven't been engaged since I ran the first it's time. It's next to you. I assume that counts. I mean, it's up to Caleb, but it's touching your token with its token. Yeah. So I assume that you're engaged. Right, Caleb? So When's the wedding? He's... <laughs> I was waiting for someone to make that joke. Sorry, what? <laughs> what do you think, David? Do I need to use my entire turn to get to disengage no, to no, get no. the use ten action. meters, or can I use? Yeah, you have, to, you have to use your action to disengage in, in this. Yeah, even believe, though yeah. I haven't engaged it since I ran the first time. You are in front of it. That is engaging okay. it. Well, I guess I just throw her then. You're not gonna run. But it gets four attacks. It rolled almost a 30. <laughs> Get away from it. It didn't get lower than an 18. What is your armor class? 19. Run away. <laughs> well, your armor so, class is question yeah. then. If it does... Wait, how much is your armor class 19? I have the uh, the telepathic armor, and then I have the uh, the like... second thing. Then the second thing I put on top of that, the modification I can put on my armor and the weapon. Never mind, ignore my question. Why did you get rid of the force field? Wait, 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 Jared, Jared, Jared. Because it doesn't have yes. force fields. <laughs> Hold on a second. Is this because Caleb never said you could get a plus three on your armor? You just uh, added? no, we talked about it before the session. He said it was fine. <laughs> wait, hold on a second. So I have, it starts at 15, 16 because of my plus one, and then the plus three. So wait, where do you get a plus one from? For my uh, telepathic level. I don't think that increases your AC, does it? It does. Oh, it does? Okay, I must have misread that. Yeah. It starts at 15, and then for every level of tele or Sorry, telekinesis, not telepathy. And so both start with you took a, a psychic talent to give you plus 3 AC? I took a, a psychic talent to allow me to put modifications, and then the modifications list said uh, the, D the GM can verify anything up to plus three and then if you allow anything plus three you're stupid so what level was the, the technique you took uh i don't know because all i'm saying is if the best I one. possible armor mod in existence you got it like level two or three i feel like yeah. that might be a bit much overpowered exactly <laughs> so I guess I'm kind of I actually don't know what's going on right now. So, so let's walk through this real quick. Jared decided so. Jared decided that he wanted to put an armor mod on his telekinetic armor. Ah, uh, yes. I told him I thought it would be logical to let him take a psychic talent that let him put mods right. on, that. and mm -hmm. he put the max on. I don't know how much of that you. Were but... Was not aware of this actually at all. I, Caleb, I told you at the beginning of the I session. I didn't understand what you were saying. I so you thought just I said yes? no, 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 no. I thought I thought I understood what you were saying, but apparently I didn't oh, understand okay. what you were saying. Um, I'll so now... I'll let you get a plus one. Lot like okay. Yeah. So but... then I have seventeen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is much more what I was expecting. Yeah. I yeah. I didn't. I wasn't okay. really cracking with that apparently. I was like, so. There's no so you didn't you didn't question when I said I had nineteen, you just put it at nineteen. I don't know. I'm tired, man. I got four hours of sleep last night. <laughs> it, Caleb. It's okay, I got you, Caleb. I well weird, so. I'm even more screwed now. Oh yeah, sorry. So are you still gonna <laughs> Right. Are you still gonna uh, throw Dylan? At this point I, I look to Dylan for confirmation. Like, should I leave? Should I throw you? We're gonna I die. Mean, I want you to run, but this game is weird. talk so instead i go mm -hmm. oh yeah she can't respond she can just stand and look. <laughs> okay so, man oh. fine whatever 
it's whatever. I don't care anymore. If you're gonna, if you're gonna literally complain about this the whole time, then I don't. I don't no, I'm care. gonna complain about this until we all die of old age. So <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I don't want to hear it, so it's fine. You can talk whatever. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, she yells through her comms to him uh, and tells him to throw her. No. At his face. Do I hear this? <laughs> Uh, I can get to safety or throw you. I can do one. <laughs> the thing is, like, you're probably, like, dodging out of the way of its, like, yeah. crushing claws at this point. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it didn't let me change my armor class. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck at 19. Uh, what a shame. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll do that. Oh. I'll fix it. Seriously, um, you should run. You're gonna die. I'm not kidding. Jared, pencil in the top right corner. If you want to oh, edit I was, anything, I was, I, was to edit, I was trying to edit my token. Oh, edit. okay. Yeah. Well, well, edit it. I, cl I clicked the pencil and it did nothing. Well, how much that's because I had already clicked it. Oh. Uh, okay. Burgess, how much health do you have? There you go. Change I have right 21. Now. Okay, you might survive one round if it rolls really badly. <laughs> Mike. Mike, you're gonna die horribly. Get out of here. I mean, do I can can I can I hear this, Caleb? Can I hear can I hear Ode telling me to run away? Uh, I've been yelling I, at all you to get in the ship. Yeah, so you hear that, but at this point, you have like literally like ha like a, a, a split second now to make a decision because you're yeah. about to run out of turn. <laughs> Although I have been saying this the whole time, so you could use that. I mean, but... I guess I guess I like Ode more than I like Dylan. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because he thinks you're super cool and you had an awesome bike. He looks up to you. Oh, and most of all, he, he uh, you remind him of his older brother, except less buff. Oh, cool. I mean, I'm pretty buff. I have plus two exert. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't have any strength. None, none of my sisters were were super buff, so you don't remind me of my sisters. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they were all delicate and feminine. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, you should, <laughs> say, you should run away. Uh, I guess I run to the ship. Yes, the okay, there. just leave me there, okay. <laughs> hey, I, I know I can hear you. Every, every story she falls to her throw or run away. Yeah, and also I'm having flashbacks to telekinesing her and like ripping her leg out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the other thing. She's probably like hobbling around. Yeah. So you want to move into the ship then? Yeah. Wait, why did the monster? <laughs> Sorry, I moved it because I couldn't click on Fergus's token. Oh. <laughs> he was frightened by the No, that's definitely not, not true. Um, I was counting on you, Fergus. <laughs> so you're I running mean... to the ship. So you, are you going straight to the bridge? Uh, no, I'm like in the doorway. Okay, yes, yeah, so you just run into the like, door. Like just out of reach of its claws in the doorway, but I can still see her. Right, so you're like right there. Ah. <laughs> so I can drag her carcass into the, into the room. Well, so that's the thing. I mean, that's only... <laughs> so technically... That's only eight meters. You could do that and send her <laughs> flying. Please. <laughs> no, I need to use my entire turn to disengage, yeah. according to David. Oh, I right, right, right. I see what you're saying. I, I mean, no, I'm not. I, I'm still engaged. No, that makes sense. Okay. I mean, technically, you can heal her from here, and you can heal her infinitely until she runs out of yeah. system strain. So uh, I, heal, I, I heal her again. <laughs> Except here's. I mean, I don't think you, you don't. Know, you can't on this turn, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. The only thing is that at the GM's discretion, a heavy weapon can instantly kill you instead of leaving you bleeding out. So I assume his hand counts as a heavy weapon, so don't die. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. What's your What's your armor class? Not high enough. Seven? <laughs> is your seventeen? Eighteen? Mine? He has 18, yeah. Mine's seventeen. Oof. It is. Well, why do you only have seventeen? Uh, what's Iron Hide do again? It gives you 15 plus half your level. Oh, uh, what's your yeah, what's yeah, half your level right now, Dylan? Yeah, she's level four. Uh, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? It's 17. <laughs> it is 17. Okay, never mind. You doesn't have dex. That's why. It, like, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's what it is. Yep. Never mind. We're just trying to figure and out your own class. Level five, which I am. So that's why. I have yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Well, uh, it is the Zanless Murder Beast's turn. Uh, <laughs> I think mean, it's just gonna. <laughs> Attack Dylan, I, I guess. Call his mom ugly repeatedly. <laughs> Cause like you're just standing in front of it, so. Oh, Dylan, why? <laughs> oh, 
I had a plan and then it failed. <laughs> hey, it missed one. <laughs> one damage. Oh my gosh. It hit the other three. I'm pretty sure you're alive. Uh, so it does. Uh, 14, 14 damage. Yeah, 14 damage. Uh, so it just starts like just as much as I got in the bike accident. Oh my god! <laughs> so you're just like dodging out of the way, dodging, weaving, trying to like like block it with your like trying to like parry it somehow like its claws, right? And it's just not working. You're you're you're, you're Are doing. You a god. So honestly, what you're doing right now though is like you're you're totally dark soulsing this. So you're like you like rolling and strafing, <laughs> spamming the roll button, right? <laughs> Yeah. As as it's trying to like attack you, but you get like Dark Souls again. Yeah, what you mean is you dodge a bunch, you get hit once, and your health goes exactly, <laughs> and you get like slashed across the stomach, like with this you know mm. gouge. Ow! Um, you're like you know like shirt rips, um, and it's just like ah, like blood just starts like seeping down into your clothes. Mm. Um, no. yeah. uh, I can't heal you unless I'm touching you. <laughs> what you have to be touching her? Yeah, I didn't oh, get that one yet. I was. Like, oh, I'm always gonna be right next to my companions. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so Evelyn, it's your turn. Yay! Bye. Evelyn, tell Do us something. You're mine. <laughs> and then run away. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this is something. Giving you guys bonuses or. I mean, it's been helping me shoot it, but, but I don't know if I can kill it fast enough to save Dylan at this point. You hear for just thunders about going. The hotel's gonna be so mad. Please. I mean, what are you gonna do though? To say you can't get there in time. That's true. I'm um, um, technically you could make it there if you want. I mean, to you could shoot it with your pistol. <laughs> yep, that's not you even could. gonna hurt it. <laughs> yep. If it has eight armor, I don't even think it's physically possible for you to injure it because a pistol does one d six damage. And yeah, you can't hurt it. It's possible. And isn't your shoot negative one anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Just hit Dylan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not trying to kill you. You can't heal Dylan. I feel like plus one is probably the best option. <laughs> you could drive the bike and do it. <laughs> You could try and get somebody's attention, and they could get some dudes out here with laser rifles to make it mad. Okay, you what is go get my dad. dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we could do that. I mean, how, why don't we just just contact him via uh, like? <laughs> because they don't have comms. Uh, yeah, also, <laughs> like that. she only has one round to live at this. And point. literally, by the time you run like yeah. run into the gate, she's gonna be dead. Her dad's like way far in. Also, they probably don't want to come out right here because look at that thing. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So if <laughs> they don't all have I, balls of titanium, like, if I attack it, I probably won't hit it. Yeah. No, I mean, you, I even try if to save it, Dylan, so I, I, I won't be able to reach her in time. Yeah. So I should just give you guys bonuses. That makes sense. Yeah. Or pilot the uh, grav bike directly into it. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the grav bike is destroyed. It doesn't right? move. Go away, Jared. So I mean, I you bike. could attempt to. No one's tried to, <laughs> he, to ride it. only yet. ever said that the rail guns were destroyed. Touch yep. my bike, I will kill you. <laughs> it's right there, Evelyn. You're not Dylan. You don't get to crash my bike, all right? Okay, if I rode it, I would have to do a pilot check, all right? Yes. I think it'd be better if I. Well. I will shoot you with the microfocal laser if you touch my bike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then you'll be hitting the bike too. Jokes yeah, on you. I'm some... a better shot than that. Give me some stats here. How easy would it be for me to hard? Very hard. Uh, you'd be rolling whatever your pilot check <laughs> is minus uh whatever like you know plus or minus whatever your dex is. Um, okay. And then you'd probably be doing a couple. Uh, I'm trying to think of what. The damage would be exactly maybe like maybe like a D10 on it if you rammed it. Also, it has armor, so it would take two damage at most. And how much else does it have left? Do we know? And you would owe me twenty thousand credits, and I would probably try and murder you. So it looks pretty damaged. It looks like it has a lot of like burn holes in it. Yeah, it's been microfocal, <laughs> micro perforated. Yep. So uh, it's literally not gonna hurt it at all. Don't just it'll do two damage. No, only if you roll max damage. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, well, I'm just going to do leadership again then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do it. That, that's a smart call. Yes, it is. <laughs> Connor, you don't want to listen to me. I'm the chaos. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, can I, should I target a specific person and try to get like plus three or something? Or should, should I just do everyone? He'll let you give Dylan extra AC. What do you want to do specifically? What are you doing? Try and give Dylan AC. Tell her how to dodge. How much health do you have left, Charlie? Four. Oh. Uh, yeah, can I give her bonus of defense? Oh, yeah, I guess. Probably Just defense. Should, should have been updating that. Uh, there. All right, fixed it. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, so dear, he, yeah. Can he give her more AC? Oh, uh, how would that work? Uh, just plus one AC. Right Giving now. her, like, defensive. We're in dire straits at this point. Huh? Yeah, like defensive advice. Yeah, there is an action you can take yeah, that is total defense that increases your AC by two. So maybe you could let him take that for her or something. I'll, I'll have you roll, and then depending on how high you roll, you can give her a bonus. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, oh <laughs> my Are you serious? Gosh. How would... No, what? How? No, that's definitely... No, I... no. You got a 13. Yeah, it's not a zero. Connor, uh, it looks like there's a plus plus in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me find why it's doing that. Connor, the game has spoken. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it doesn't know how to math. I mean, it doesn't know how to plus plus. I think that's your fault. I'm just trying to think. I don't think anything has like a... Does it say plus two plus. in his skill for lead? Uh, it says plus two in his intelligence. But that's oh, like not... Right. No, no, that's in the modifier section. There's no... Oh. What the heck? Yeah, I know. It's There's no reason I should be doing that. Oh, if, if it is, then it's on, it's on yeah, the game. It's, it's the intelligence that's messing up because it's plus one for the mod and then plus plus... Wait, right? It's, oh, well, it's already it's adding, adding two for the intelligence. No, it's, and adding, it's adding extra for two. Mod. Caleb, or Connor, did you put something in the mod? It should be as plus zero. No. There's plus nothing, and that's confusing it. Try re-rolling and see if it does it again. Yeah, yeah. Zero Reroll it and make sure there's a zero in that. Because what happened was it tried to add nothing, and so it said it added. So oh, I don't get that roll then. No, you can still I mean, get it. That's fine. Just I'm just. We just want to make sure. Oh, you're just trying to figure out what's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You must have deleted this. Yeah, I put. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah there okay, so you can get a 13 then. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You can give her a plus two to her uh, AC. Nice. Take the defense action, <laughs> um, Caleb. I it's not a plus. Three, uh, it's not a thirteen. It's a fourteen. Isn't it? Oh, you're right. I, I just add, rolled a sorry. five and a three. Yeah. And I got gotcha. Yeah. Plus plus two. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I can't add apparently. So. So I, I got a. 40. So what does that look like, Evelyn? Like like walk us through that. That situation. Maybe like Carly. Legs you're a machine. Cool. Carly. Oh, sorry. What? Dylan, you're a machine. Act like it. Dang. Um. Got him. Okay. It, that, <laughs> what? <laughs> that, I mean, no, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Are I was you just trying to make a reference an to uh, That's my that's my Cody my Cody that's reference from Steelheart that I quote all the time to my coworkers. Mm. Proc. <laughs> you're a machine. Yep. If I can. No, okay, so. So I'm actually gonna say the opposite to Dylan. Is, is uh, Dylan? You've always been uh, in. You, you've always had a strong heart. You, you. Uh, you have, like you have been able to make up where 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 I have lacked, in in emotion, in courage, <laughs> so and determination. Fun. Use this to your advantage. <laughs> Wait. So so when when you have a situation. This is a combat situation. Instead of doing your thing and being tactical, you're trying to be like inspiring. Yes. I okay. All right. <laughs> sure. And okay, that's what I say first. Inspiring. But then as she's going, I'm talking her through stuff like dodge, go. Okay. You know? Yeah. But that's that's what I say to like uh, focus her in on things. This is the anime moment. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Come on, isn't that good? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I could wordsmith. No, that, it's fine. Here, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, I would anger. Why not? Okay, let's hope I can kill this thing before it's. Let's, let's hope you don't miss and accidentally hit Carly. I know this is the one time I'm gonna miss. I promise you. I'm just like, hey, I'm in the ship. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. That's a hit. I did not roll underneath like a 22. I don't think I got a 21 once. 
Good job. I love this character. All right. And now I just get the plus two because I don't have your bonus. 12 damage. That is exactly enough to kill it. Yes, thank you. Oh, so boy. what happens? I wanted to kill it. it. Just screams and like, get away from her and lasers it through the face. You, exactly, right? It's just like <laughs> right through the eye hole. Um, yeah, so, uh, so oh, right, you're screaming this, right? Like, get away from her! I just keep lasering it. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Um, okay. It's gonna um, go through the wall. Make a I luck save. A shot. Okay. What? Yeah. Oh, David. <laughs> <laughs> David, uh, keep, keep, keep nailing these saves. Can I make a shooting roll? I'm better at that. Uh, no, no. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, yes. you're good. You're good. Oh, so basically okay, what yeah. happens is, yeah, like, yeah, the, the angle you have it in is not actually, like, aimed yeah, I assume I'm directly at Dylan. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're shooting, like, at a downward angle, yeah. Yeah, wait, did you say Dylan? Hmm? You're gonna make me hit Dylan if what? I feel that much? No, no. Oh, I thought I you said, said the dome. Oh, the dome, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. That would have been bad. No, so so we get this this moment, right, where the like the battle music cuts out and we just we just hear like the sound effect of the laser drilling through its skull and it just keeps going and the thing just like starts smoking and and then it's like like the whole head just like goes on fire and then it just crumbles and like like scratches the ground in like a like a like a death throw. Um uh Dylan make a uh, evasion save for me. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, turn. This is going to be bad if it falls on me. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so you barely managed to, like, strafe roll away. Dark soil. Dark souls. Dark soil. Dark soil. <laughs> dark soul style. Uh, That's what the monster does. Dark soils itself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and then the the like the beast like tears up the ground um, with its like three claws and then just like and then cave trolls it for a moment which is like and kind of like stumbles around and then and it's just so for real head is just smoking can you imagine that's awesome. the, i'm dead and now my body is just releasing all the defecation in me from this thing <laughs> so big that would be horrifying <laughs> Fergus wants to heal it and befriend it. <laughs> no. Please, no. Oh my gosh. So. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure you can, honestly. It's I mean, I, I I have I have skill points that are unspent. <laughs> I could learn something that would allow me Wait, to right I'm, now. Hold on a second. You had extra skill points and you decided not to spend them on heal people yeah. at a distance. When I think I was. Right. I mean, sure. I don't yeah. think I was gonna need it. So in the yeah. in the moment, like, um, at the end of like this like dreaded combat here, um, like in silence that ensues. Well, what is everybody everybody doing? Well, I'm lying on the ground, <laughs> like, uh, bleeding. <laughs> Fergus goes and heals her. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Thanks. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do it. Roll your roll your. Um, oh yeah. Um... It's 2d6 plus 2, is it? Oops. I don't remember what it is exactly, actually. 2d6 plus 2. The, the whole time he's healing her, he's just saying, uh, I'm sorry I didn't throw you. I, just, I figured that if you died and I escaped, I could still heal you. But if we both died... Then we'd both be dead completely. <laughs> also, as a point of order, good point. there's a good chance if you had thrown her, she'd be dead right now. Because if she'd taken four damage from the fall, she would be dead. Uh, yeah, and also last time I telekinesis to you, I broke your leg. <laughs> uh, so Dylan, go ahead and go ahead and increase your, your uh, max health. Or not max health, but your current health by 11. I um, mean, I, like I can heal her to max. <laughs> if that's not well, enough. Yeah. Well, so wait. Where's my health? Uh, it should be on your character sheet um, on the the left there. Yeah, yeah, you... alpha. yeah. Okay, and then put one system more system strain on her. Yeah, um, right. yeah I got it. So what happens, right? Is you you do this, you heal Lane Hansen. What is everybody else doing in this this initial moment? Uh, I'm just sitting in the chair, like yeah, depressing. yeah, for sure. <laughs> so uh, we get a shot of Till still bleeding out in the um the uh the, the bridge. Yeah. So Dylan tells. Tells Fergus that Till needs help. Well, um, that would have been nice to know. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, so you you ran over there then. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, uh, Evelyn, what are you doing in this initial moment? 
Um, not doing anything at the moment. Oh, is it my turn? I'm just saying, like, oh. after like the silence of of the like end of the battle ensues, what are, what are you doing in that moment? What do we see? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm I'm like talking to to um, Dylan, just like giving her like do this, do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's dead, right? <laughs> Oh, what? Where have you been <laughs> for the last 20 years? Come, dude. You just died. You missed oh, my dude. awesome description, too. Yeah, I shot it, and then I shot it 20 more times and blew up its head. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta pay attention, dude. Connor, what game are you playing right now? <laughs> what are you talking about? What kind of person do you think that I am? He says slowly as he tries to play his game. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to talk really fast. So I don't know what you mean. So what, what are you doing, Evelyn? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. How does she act in victory? I, I mean, we killed Oh, no. Killed yeah, she know. Why, what? We, you killed it. We should go get our money. <laughs> Honestly, no. I, I, I We foreshadowed this. Yep. She yep. she gets angry. Uh huh. And she gets, like, really upset. And, and like, she runs into the into the ship to, like, make sure that, that Tillo's all right. Or no, no, she probably runs in... Or no, because Fergus Whoa. can heal. Hi, Chase. Because <laughs> Fergus can heal, so... Yeah, I mean, she probably is just, like, Fergus, let's go. And, like, rushes in to help Till out. And, and wait, no, who's... Who's more injured? Carly, are you more injured? Or... Uh, he already healed me. Till. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah. So, like, <laughs> so we're just going and run into the hill. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So, everybody's kind of like right there in their places. And that is when you guys Drops notice back. that the body starts yep. throbbing and pulsing. Oh, no. And suddenly, a small Why? claw just <laughs> rips its it way out of the thing's Whoa. stomach. Yeah. Oh gosh, why? And Evelyn and Car and Dylan. Get back out here. Evelyn and Dylan, you you look in horror as oh, like no. like uh, let's see, like like nine mini versions of this thing start like crawling nine? out of its corpse. Okay. okay. <laughs> here and I'm gonna sandblast. And this. on that note, let's take our our next oh break, gosh. and we'll come back and figure oh. out how to defeat this. <laughs> That's so amazing. Fergus is in the ship. That's, That's already established. Yep. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. More uh, leading order after this.